Good morning. Uh, today I'm going to be putting in peel and stick vinyl floor on the trailer, Avion trailer. Most people think it's uh, Airstream, but it's not. It's Navion. Better than Airstream. If you do your research, you'll know. Um, so I picked Peel and Stick because it was the lowest profile. And I'm not sure if it's going to be a regret because Peel and Stick doesn't have a tongue and a groove to hold it together. It's, it's just stuck to the floor and um, you got to be really accurate. But if there's any shrinking or expansion, it buckles. If it doesn't stick to the floor properly, it could peel up. So it's very cheap and I don't have much square footage. I think a box and a half um, is all I need. Uh, my floor is clean and somewhat level. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go for it and, uh, and see how it all turns out. So hope you have so much fun watching me lay vinyl plank. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a blast. Well, so far, um, so good. It's um, it's sticky, <laughs> and it, you can't do it with gloves on. Um, so anyway, uh, I got some stuff. I'm gonna have to probably find some solution to get rid of here. But I got my first runs going. Um, you kind of have to be careful on the first runs because if the first runs are off level, then the rest of it goes off. But I don't have a huge span. If you were doing a whole floor, um, boy. Yeah, you'd run into trouble really fast because an eighth of an inch turns into a quarter inch, turns into an inch in no time flat. So, um, yeah, I've got lots of corners and cutting because of all of the cabinets kind of jutting out all the way along. But um, it's all right. It's all right. I chose the uh, stick stuff because... Um, well, why did I choose it? The color was right. And sometimes I found with um, RVs when they move, because they do kind of move a little. Um, the, the last one I did, the TNG, sometimes got dislodged. Um, the floating floor, you know, a bit bouncy in spots. So I felt like this peel and stick. The only thing with peel and stick is you don't have any. Um, there's no. There's no. It's all up to you. Like with the click in, if it if it's not straight, it won't click in. But um, this is different. You can make a mistake pretty quick. Who's that? Hey. Hey. So I figured a little trick to use a bit of this to hold it because you get your hands on it and it gets all over your hands and then it gets all over the top. So I'm learning as I go. I didn't YouTube how to do this. Um, Once you got your first runs spot on, the rest of it should go simple. I mean, I've seen the pros have these uh, heavy rollers that they roll this all down with at the end, but because I've got such a small area, I'm just gonna use my own weight. How do you think, Dave? Good. Looks good? I think I've got way too much flooring. When I estimated the flooring I got, I kind of measured the whole entire trailer because I didn't know exactly what the design was going to be. Um, so, I've got probably way too much. You want to feel this? Very gently, very slowly. Just go slow. Two hands, maybe.
Dad, do you have any extra of that, you know, that really thin wood? Um, it's for the that one. Yeah, okay. there's some in the back of the truck. But we need to grow like a hole in it. Why? What's for? It's for like this little basketball thing that's on there. Oh. You look in the back of the truck, lots of garbage stuff, you can have it. It's funny, this color looks very classic RV color, but um, I have a, design, a couple designers that work for me, and so I just leaned on them for design sense, and I'm trusting them, this is good. I think what they wanted to find is something that has the same properties, color as this, but it's, uh, this, is, this seems like classic RV oak. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't look tacky. The last trailer I did, the Rambler, um, which you can see um, further back on my channel, I went, I kind of did it all myself and I went with Grace. Um, and honestly, once you get once you get living in a trailer, mm -hmm. the square footage isn't big enough for you to really stand back and you know if you're doing a house, it's a whole different story, but it's such a small area and then you end up putting rugs down. You barely see it anyway, but I went with the gray and probably not the best call because it's very cool and not as warm and cozy. Um, so this time, you know, I'm good at, I'm good at spatial areas for designing like, um, what, you know, big, big kind of, I don't know how you call it. I'm just not the best at color coordinating stuff. Um, I guess I know if it looks bad, and I think most of us do. We know when it looks bad and we know when it looks good. And you stand back, but the thing is, when you do it like that, which in my case happens a lot, you end up doing stuff twice. Because you know, you don't know until you've done it. Then you have to turn. All right, I'm back. It's funny having um, this YouTube channel that's really not got very much traction because I probably haven't done it properly and I don't edit and I don't make nice thumbnails. So I don't have time, low attention span, all of the above. I like to be doing the work instead of filming myself doing the work. Um, but you know, I, I, I built it because um, I wanted to leave something for my family to look at at their own whim and when I when I've gone away, um, they can look over the work we did and the projects I did. And so it's kind of like writing an album. It's, it's a legacy that you leave um, for others to enjoy along past your, your uh, alive. Um, that might sound morbid, but I think we all want to leave a part of ourselves behind, you know. Um, we all want to be remembered. I think that's the struggle with, we just recently lost our dog and um, Part of the struggle of of, um, of being a human is coming to terms with the fact that it's going to end one day and people won't talk about you very much one day and they won't remember you that often uh, and that's really tough on the human ego i think um just losing our dog maybe makes you really realize that this this will all come to an end one day sorry i'm getting dark <laughs> but maybe it's not dark maybe it's light um and uh yeah, so anyway, that's the reason for me having this channel, um, partly. And it's kind of fun when people do watch um, my creative. And when we get to the other end, by the other end I mean Courtney, our new place. Boy, oh boy, will I have projects to do. A lot of projects. Okay, so I've kind of got this stagger going and I'm not going to be able to go any further until I finish this area. So I'm going to have to cut back into this area, finish it, and then I can kind of fill in my, my um, thingamajig. So back to cutting and splicing and figuring all that out. I'll check back with you later. All right, so um, floor done. Sticky hands. I don't see any other way of doing it. I guess you could wear latex gloves, but um, I think that would be frustrating, especially when you're trying to pick off the plastic. So I gotta use some paint thinner, I think, to get that off. Mm. Yeah, floor's in. 
it does, it, the color does tie in a lot with this. And I see the logic now. It makes the space look bigger, that's for sure. And um, I've got to do corner bead all the way around the perimeters. Pre-paint that probably is the best way to go. And there'll be obviously three different colors. I'm gonna stain some of it, paint some of it. And, um, and that'll be good. <laughs> I'm gonna go spend some time with my family now. So, over now.